Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of CSR's Basics. In this episode, we're going to be talking about some um, amazing features that I think might be useful to so many uh, users, hopefully. Um, we're going to cover today quick browsing and what it does and how we can use it and why it can be actually useful to us. We're also going to talk about the content filtering setting, which is uh, one of uh, the uh, most useful features that CSR provides. Also, we're going to cover um, what they call um, like how to assign a gesture to open a certain app, which is, I think, such a uh, cool feature. We've covered per app gestures before, which basically are gestures that only work in certain apps but today we're going to be talking about how to actually assign a gesture to open a certain application which is uh, one of uh, the most amazing features that csr provides all right so first off let's um start with the um content filtering setting and i would like to actually say that this feature is actually in the uh, full version of the app only uh, if you are a free um, user if you like use uh, the free version of the app it's not actually available to you unfortunately however you can always um, use the dictionary um, filtering to filter things out if you want um, or you can use the list browsing, by the way. So what is content filtering, first of all? Content filtering, basically, um, it filters out every, like, you know, useless thing that might make um, the, uh, like, web page a little bit sluggish or laggy, which would um, actually lead to... Uh, a little bit of sluggishness when it comes to the screen reader or the use of it. So sometimes if you are browsing a web page and there are lots of graphics or advertisements that have lots of graphics, it would make the use of your phone a little bit sluggish or laggy for some reason, which would um, result in, you know, like it'll be feel so, so like heavy to use and you won't be able to like move um, easily. However, if you enable the content filtering thing, it won't it won't really be a problem, and you can actually uh, use the uh, like the web page um, in an easier way. So I'm going to demonstrate both content filtering, which is the paid feature in the full uh, version of the app, and also if you don't have the like the paid full version, what you can do. First of all we need to actually enable this feature. How we can do that? We need to go to um, program settings. Um, so 1.40 a.m. Stop button. We need to open the uh, main menu, down and right. Main menu. And then program settings. Extensions, program settings. Content, fil content filtering set, and, back button. Oh, I was, okay. Reading settings, so back button, Gshow plus, we are Gshow here feedback in settings. the main window of the program settings. We need what uh, it's called reading settings. By the way, in the earlier versions of the app, it was called content presentation settings. But of course, after like the, you know, all the updates and all that, it like its title has changed. So we are looking for the reading settings. Operations, reading settings. Reading setting, All reading right. settings. Here we're looking for the filter, um, the content filtering settings. Navigate user, use, use the user content filtering settings. There you go. Content, fil content filtering settings. Right. Content blacklist enabling this option might help fixing errors related to adding custom labels. Okay, so custom labels, we've actually talked about that before, if you remember. Labeling buttons. Um, sometimes if you have like a blacklist of labeled buttons and you don't want to, don't, you want the screen reader to filter it out, you can actually check that checkbox and it'll do it for you. Apparently there's a problem with that. Um, I honestly have not experienced that. I don't like have any blacklisted labeled buttons, so I don't really 
you know have much of a background on this however it's there for you to try out um if you want me to like to look more into this let me know and i'll be happy to do it for you okay we're looking for filter unwanted controls checkbox checked this one is already checked by default so we we'll leave it on filter images on web pages checkbox unchecked controls whether images that don't contain the alternative descriptions should be filtered right so here it talks about those graphics that don't have alternative text to them which basically are not really described so you don't really need them it, they won't be really use, be useful to you and they would make browsing actually more difficult and complicated so in that case if you actually check this box um it'll be a little bit different right so first of all we need to take a look at the web page that we have first before filtering it out right so recent spot go to one you g show plus voice chrome chrome i have a web page open already chrome more options button space links settings we go to hang just to go to like the the beginning of the the you know the article first android 13 screenshot spotted it's so colorful heading one all right that's a heading we're going to move um just right swipe right two minutes nine zero link save to pocket link that's not really any graphics authored by sport eight months ago android pit brazil carnival 5448 as first android 13 screenshot spotted it's so colorful graphic that's a graphic and it's actually um described right so it has an alternative text to it however copyright next pitch by irena Avramova. the extremely flexible customizable design of the interface is a big topic in android 12 link Comma and judging by the initial screenshots and reports, Google will explore the idea even further in Android 13. See and judge for yourself. So that's all like ring content. Advertisement third party at content region. Right. This here is an advertisement, right? So. Next pit logo wide on transparent background graphic. This is a, an alternative um, text described when. Next pit. Space. Unable to play media video. Right. There's a video. 124.1K. For out, Apple's iPhone 14 com graphic. This is also described when? Now playing. For out, Apple's event hype, iPhone 2022 highlights and lowlights graphic. A Mefit GTR4 and GTS4 hands on graphic. Arrow left, number sign, one icon created with sketch graphic. Arrow right, number sign, one icon created with sketch graphic. Space. TL, DR. Ryan Coverdell, blind Android users, book titles to read. TL, DR. Android 13 is supposed to offer more dynamic background design. Right, so T if you can Aero, see here, a GTR 5 a 2022 highlight, a Mesh GTR 4 and GTS 4 hands on graphic. So there are like weird, weird wins in here. So basically, we'll go and turn, um, like turn the, the content filtering on. Why? Because once we do so, it will actually filter all the images and graphics that don't have alternative text. And in that way, we will know which images do have alternative text and which images are just labeled weird labeled labeling button, like labeling names. Because basically, sometimes you can have like a graphic, it's actually written like in weird numbers and letters and all that, and you won't know like what that, what the hell is that. And it makes things a little bit sluggish because it's also um, a load on the TTS engine, which, by the way, is a huge, huge um, part of why sometimes web browsing can be a little bit sluggish. OK, so let's go and turn the content filtering on. Recent button one Chrome G show plus settings again. Content fil filter images on web pages. Filter strict web con filter images on web pages checkbox unchecked controls whether images that don't contain the alternative this descriptions one? should be filtered. Right, so we're going to check this one. Checkbox checked. This here. Strict web content filter checkbox unchecked controls whether the non Chinese content should be filtered out while browsing web pages. Right, so I think this is more like for Chinese users um, that don't want any other content except for like Chinese content to be to be. Um, shown on web pages or anything like that content filtering right. settings and actually this is the end of the settings the content filtering settings now let's go back to like the page back button but first, reading settings okay I'm, recent button one g show plus chrome right. chrome um, we go by heading again to the beginning of the article space 
First Android 13 screenshot spotted. It's so colorful heading one. Okay, let's go the same path. Take the same path. Two minutes. Nine. Zero link. Save to pocket link. Authored by Steph Orr. Eight months ago. First Android 13 screenshot spotted. It's so colorful graphic. This one has an alternative text. So it's still here. It's not filtered out, right? Copyright next pitch by Irina Avramova. The extremely flexible, customizable design of the interface is a big topic in. That's a written content. Android 12 link. Comma and judging by the initial screenshots and awesome. advertisement third party at content okay, region. Okay, the ad. Graphic. As you can tell, this graphic doesn't have an alternative text. So it only says graphic, basically. It doesn't say like any weird numbers or or like um, any weird, uh, you know, content, letters, those, you know, things that when um, the web browser tries like <laughs> to, to try to describe the, the imagery, but obviously it doesn't because it, you know, it's a weird advertisement. So it just says graphic because again, if it doesn't and it has like a weird name to it, weird labeling to it, um, it will make things more, um, a bit more sluggish and um, it will make the like the TTS engine a little bit laggy. So this makes the, um, the process easier for you. All right. Okay. So this was content filtering. But again, this is a feature for anyone who has the full version of the app. Now, what if you don't have the full version of the app and you're on a web page that contains so, so many graphics and, you know, you want a way around, right? Like, you just want to figure it out. What you can do is basically... First Android 13 screenshot spotted. It's uh, so colorful heading one. Okay, I'm just got like, I, I got back to the beginning of the page. So... And actually, this is a way to like deal with any um, screen that's a little bit laggy or sluggish. What you do, basically, you use something called list browsing. So how you can go, like access that, you open the main menu. Main menu. Main voice assistant. Extensions. Program setting. Extension. Program. Disables. Pro extent, voice assist. Read the whole list browsing. And there it is. Or you can also actually um, like assign a gesture for it by the way so let's open that grant list browsing chrome list browsing right tells you chrome list browsing first android 13 screenshot tech and community and you basically tech and community have next pit. everything else to here. the next pit home page next pit zero zero search login login news right and you can click on any item of it and it's a little bit lighter it's a little bit like quicker to navigate it's awesome jobs um jobs you also have Chrome list by browsing. the way um the right down corner if you do that you will find cancel button edit button the edit button um default button default refresh button scroll down button unavailable refresh button refresh if you want to refresh you know because you obviously you can be on a home page and you want to refresh the whole menu uh the whole list scroll down button so unavailable you can scroll down scroll up button unavailable it's unavailable because obviously there's like there are no other pages in in that article smartphone jobs yeah jobs and you can do that you can also navigate by labels default paragraph screen update volume copy page headings Lines. Lines. Headings. Headings. It's obviously paragraphs, but it mistran it's mistranslated. Line. Words. Words. Characters. You can basically do any of, of that. So list browsing is, is an awesome way to deal with any screen that could be a little bit complex or complicated. Words. Right. Jobs. Let's. Jobs. When you, if you want to get out of it, just. First uh, Android 13. Jobs. Smartphone. Default button. Uh, hit the cancel button. Edit button. Cancel button. Right there. Okay, so right now I'm going to be talking about the quick browsing. What is quick browsing? Quick browsing basically is a way for you to navigate the screen, to move around the screen easily. Sometimes you want to just have an overview of the whole screen and you want to navigate things quickly um, to like access a certain part of the screen or do anything like Back that. Button. So basically, how you can access quick browsing. There are two ways that you can do that. You can either assign a gesture for it, or you can, um, we can open the main menu, right and then down, uh, sorry, down and then right, excuse me. Main menu. And then 
um, if you're using the default uh, like custom like, gesture scheme, just uh, main menu. You can swipe down. Okay, and then swipe left. More button. Cancel button. Share logs. For virtual navigation. Detailed focus capture. Quick browsing. Six times. You find six or five times <laughs> until you find you find quick browsing. So quick browsing is a little bit different in a way that you know if you want to like navigate certain certain things, there are certain gestures. Basically, there are no gestures, but I mean, it's not as like explore by touch or anything like that. So let's turn it on. It is turned on already now. Doesn't say anything, but it is. Um, basically, you can swipe scroll on the screen without without um lifting your finger off of the screen you can just navigate um hold your finger down and start moving around the screen until you found the item that you're looking for and then you swipe in any direction with two fingers and it's go it's going to click that button or trigger that item you are um focus the, cur the cursor is focused on so let's just because I, like okay so basically we, if we go to the home screen home button one ui home back button one ui home messages internet camera i'm now holding my finger down and moving around the screen internet messages Internet, met, phone, camera, so, galaxy bud, galaxy bud, quick, quick control, so, contacts, social media and communication, folder, For 11 instance, notifications. I want to open this folder. This is like my social media folder that contains like Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and so on. I can just swipe with, with two fingers any direction. Folder opened, page one of one. As you can tell, or as you can hear, it actually told me that for totally that the folder is open and it also made the sound of like clicking. I can still move around with quick browsing. Home screen, pay, social media and communication, folder, 11 notifications. And it's open. Right. Social media and communication, folder, 11 notifications. Back button. Active noise cancelling. So Off. basically... Um, I need also to say that the navigation bar, back button, which is like the back home and recent views in that one, or the notification sheet it is out of the, like the, those two ones are out of the process. So once you go to the notification sheet, the quick browsing won't work because, uh, you know, sometimes people like if they get stuck or turn it on by, by accident, they don't know how to get out of it. If uh, the back and home buttons and like the navigation bar is actually hidden they will be stuck so i think that's actually a, a great idea um you know from the developer now also the menus of the app are out of the quick browsing mode as well so once you you open the main menu all the gestures by the way work main menu oh, main, the menu. main menu they will still work if you hold your box. finger down on the Dis screen notification box it won't work the quick browsing won't work, and I think it's also a great idea because if you turned on, turn it, turned it on by accident, and you're stuck, you can just open the main menu and turn it off back again. So, by the way, that's how you can turn quick browsing off. You open the main menu, Goodreads application, and more button. Uh, hit the more button or swipe left. Main menu. Uh, sorry, main swipe menu. down, and then until you find more button. Virtual detailed focus. Quick browsing. Quick browsing. Yay, it's actually off again. Right, so this is how quick browsing works. I think it's a great, great, great idea. Uh, because in that case, you know, navigating the screen would be like much easier. It's actually pretty close to like what sighted people do. Sighted people don't really scroll through the whole screen, swipe and swipe, swipe. They basically move their eye around until they find the item they're looking for. And then they just, you know lift their fingers or they actually look at the screen and uh, they touch the item that uh, you know they want to uh, like um, they like click on the item that they want to uh, open which is I think you know it's pretty close to it right um, okay so now we're going to be talking about how to assign a gesture to open an app which is I think a, a, a great feature as well so 
go to the main menu. I think this is basically where we go all the time. Recent button. Main menu. Main <laughs> um, menu. It's again down and right. Voice assistant. Just a reminder. Extensions. Program, Program settings. settings. Reading settings. We are on the reading settings because you know we, we were here before <laughs> when we were talking about content filtering. Back button. Go back. G show plus. G show plus. Feedback settings. And we're looking for. Um, we are we are actually looking for the um, general settings. TT general settings. G show plot setup TTS G show TTS TT read usage hints read the automatic inverts use custom G show custom gesture scheme settings. Yes, we're looking for custom gesture scheme settings. Custom close bu custom save button share button more options button up gesture default. Okay, you basically here have all the gestures that the app has pretty much all every single gesture down gesture default down swipe left default swipe left swipe right default swipe right left and right gesture function monitor the currently focused element those are things that i've assigned myself right and left gesture function actions up and down gesture default down and up gesture default left and up gesture function notification bar left and down gesture default right and up gesture default Right and down gesture default. Up and left gesture default. Okay, I'm just trying to look for one. Up and right gesture default. Down and left gesture default. Mm, okay. Well, okay, so let's maybe pick... Down and right gesture default. Down and left gesture default. The down and left one, um, I don't think... I have it like... I, it's, it's actually assigned for... By default, it's assigned for the voice... Um, the voice assistant that comes with the screen reader. Right, so basically, we're going to open that one. Down and left gesture, down and left gesture. Once you pick the gesture you want, go into, I'll click on it. Default checked. It's checked, you know, the default, if you want to get it back to default. No command unchecked. No command, if you don't want it to do anything, basically. Plugins unchecked. Plugins. If you have a certain plugin that you want to uh, assign it, when actually, we actually had covered that before. Custom voice commands unchecked. Um, custom voice commands. We have also talked about that before in an earlier episode. You can definitely find that either on our YouTube channel or um, you can also uh, definitely find it like in, if you listen to the podcast through any pod catcher. Tools unchecked. The tools also you can assign for a tool. Application unchecked. And we're looking for application. Okay, so once we hit that button. Check application. Checkbox, whatever you want to call it. Amazing MP3 recorder. It basically opens, like, gives you a list of every single app you have on your phone. Amazon Shopping. Android Auto. Amazon Shopping. Okay, let's for instance pick Amazon. Custom. Down and right gesture default. Down and left gesture application Amazon Shopping. As you can tell, it's now assigned for Amazon. Up and right, down and left gesture application Amazon Shopping. So let's do it. Let's see if it, if it will work or not. Back Just button. get back. Visual. Saved. Plus. As you can tell, you have to go back for it to be saved. Now, let's do down and left. Oh. Your sock is now Amazon makeup. Watch its graphic. It actually is. It's just, it's Click it here, open. link. Prime link. I don't know why it didn't see, say anything, but let's go to home screen and do it again, by the way. Let's see. Home button. One UI camera. Okay, so down and right. Down and left. Excuse me. Amazon shopping. Oh, yes. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, but just because it didn't like announce anything, I thought I would do it again. So you'd be like sure that it actually worked. So basically, that's that's how you do it. You know, it's it's actually easy. It's good. Amazing. Um, can be like if you have a certain app that you want to go to real quick, um, that can be, you know, helpful. Uh, also, for people who use magnification, I think... Um, if you want to like magnify anything, you want to go to like the magnifier real quick, the camera, you basically have every single app installed. Um, you can assign a gesture to open that, that app. Um, for instance, I have like one for like good, my Goodreads app because I use, um, Goodreads a lot to track, like to keep track of my books and what I read and what I'm currently reading, what I want to read and all that. So I just, um, you know, do the gesture that I assigned for it. Um, and it, it actually opens the app right away, which is, I think, really cool. 
um that's it for today's episode i hope it was useful and helpful i hope um i was able to demonstrate things um you know well for you if you have any questions definitely don't hesitate to reach me out at contact us at blind android users.com um i hope uh, you liked this episode and um hopefully we'll see you next week thank you so much for listening